No blinker? Huh? There's your second. There's your second one right there. Mm-hmm. I don't need to. You didn't use a blinker. You're not going to treat me like this. Okay. I'm calling to, you blocked my trap. You blocked me okay. from going through, and I have that right. What's your badge number? 31806. All right, get your supervisor here right now. Okay, for what? Because I'm a pet taxpayer, and that's what I said. Okay. Get your, get your supervisor here right now. Okay. Can I help you with something? Yep. Because your professionalism and how you just drove and how I have it on camera, I want your supervisor here. I'm a taxpayer. You do your job right. Turn your body came on. All right, get your supervisor here. I'm just letting you know right now, if my black ass was to pull some type of shit like this right here, I'll be a pack. They'll be smoking me in the police department. I'm, 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 I'm giving right. you a citizen. I'm giving you a ticket right now. You didn't use your blinker. You're blocking traffic. You're not a professional capacity. You're still blocking traffic. Get your supervisor here now. Get your supervisor here now. If you keep yelling and pointing your finger at me, you're going to be detained in handcuffs. Okay? Because if you attempt... Give me your card. If you attempt to approach me... I have that right. I have that right. To do what? Get your supervisor here, boss. I need to tell him what you need him for. I want to make a complaint on you for blocking traffic and then for you not using your blinker and for you driving erratically. Get your supervisor here. I don't need to say no more to you until your supervisor here. Federally, if you're violating my rights, I'm going to... Okay. Give me your card right now. I'm just trying to... Ask give me your card right now and give me your supervisor. Do your job. Okay. What? You know me. No blinker. What? Bro, I swear if my black ass was to do this, I'll be a pack. Can you legally do this? I've heard of citizens arrest, but can you pull over the police? It must be nice. Why is it that these days I've noticed that some guys, like when the relationship ends, you guys break up or your feelings get hurt, the guy tends to want to take everything that he bought for you away from you. It even reaches the extent of wanting the wig. You want yep. the wig over yep. my head. What are you going to do with that wig? This thing of taking the phone away, taking this back, give me this back, give me this back. It don't matter. It doesn't work like that. Those are now my property. No. If your feelings are hurt or if the relationship has ended, move on. I'm disagreeing with that. Y'all might call me petty, but I'm not agreeing with that. This man just proposed to her and she said no. Of course, I'm going to snatch the wig that I bought, that I paid for. Technically, it's my property because I got the receipt for it. She was leading this man on. He out here showering her with gifts. He ready to take it to the next level. She talking about no. Well, give me the damn wig then. I don't know how long some of y'all been subscribed to this channel, but I think it was me and my wife that did the video we weren't married yet and i was like yo if i bought you draws and we break up i'm taking the draws i'm taking all the draws that i bought y'all might think it's funny y'all might think it's petty i don't know i don't know what you think right now but imagine this i buy you some sexy draws we break up and now you wearing the sexy draws i bought you for your next man last time you had sex is that, uh, that not yesterday the day before yesterday was it good it was super good. It was super good. So you will call this person back? Of course. Yeah? Are you dating them? Or are you I'm just waiting them? for him right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. You guys dating? Uh, kind of. In the middle. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm giving myself an opportunity to let her call again. Okay. Okay. I'm what? 33. 33? Right? So, yeah. And what's your, what's your... Yo. Bro, she younger than me. I thought she was in her 40s. Oh, man. You're all type... You have a type where you well, just go down. I'm vegan. I always tell Puerto Rican was a but baby, there's so much <laughs> options out here. So, yeah. like, Mom, 30, I'm 33. I was I was married for 15 years. Uh, I mean, Cubans are so similar to us, but there's a lot of Venezuela. I mean. 33, she was married for 15 years. This is what I be talking about. Y'all people that like to get married young, and y'all get in your 30s and get divorced, and you feel as though, oh, I'm finally free. Listen, before you go out there and get married too fast, give yourself the opportunity to experience life. Give yourself the opportunity to grow out of your parents' home because she got married, what, when she was 18? You probably was still under your parents' roof. So you probably went from being under your parents' roof into being under a man's roof. When did you have a chance to 
do what you're doing right now. And I'm not when I say do what you're doing right now, I don't mean just be out here getting random. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about when did you give yourself the chance to see when the decisions that you made only affected you and you didn't have to think about somebody else's feelings or somebody else judging you based on the decisions you make. That's when you know you're an adult, when you're by yourself and the decisions you make is for you. I like, I admire beauty, I will say, because, you know, now that I'm 33, after I have three kids, I have my eldest is 14, man, I was stuck. And you know, like, I feel like I was in penitentiary for so long. Baby, I'm outside, like, look at me. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. by myself, but look, I'm having fun. Yeah. That's I'm what I was saying. Little, like a little boy, like, and the thing is that you always want this fake everything, you know, all the shit, and then comes a little boy with nothing. Yeah. And make so you, you don't, you don't and make you feel the best when in the world. You just go off the love, not like money or yeah. any of that. No, because I get that myself. Yeah. I but, always yeah. have, and then I have, I always been spoiled. So and are you, are you, you covering? Set yeah. up for a lot. Uh -huh. When you spoil, when a man spoil you, you set up. You gotta be there, especially when you're. A I honestly thought. She was in her forties, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That that relationship must have took a toll on you because you look thirty three going on fifty four. One thing about being grown, I can have cereal whenever. Yes, that cup was warmed up for two minutes of lactate milk. Ooh, don't forget the cheese, baby. Let that soak. You want to get? Ain't no f way. Ain't no. F way. There is no way that she just put cheese in that goddamn milk. There is no way. Push, 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 push. There is no way that she just put cheese in the milk. I can't even punch my legs tight. My legs tight. I don't even got it no more. Push, push, push. If that ain't big back activities, I don't know what else is. Somebody in the comment section said, girl, hide in gas prices. <laughs> Get it in there where it's melting. Then you come in with those frosting flakes or the corn flakes, whichever one you prefer. This is what I prefer. Pour the rest of that hot milk. Whoo, Lord have mercy. You can already see what's going on here. This is a new little trick to make that cereal more deluxe, baby. More delicioso. Yes, that's so CK. Yes. Uh-huh. You see what's going on here. This is a childhood snack. Yes. Oh my God. Amazing. Oh yes. Definitely a hit. If you're not scared of putting a little cheese in that milk, yeah. You give it a try. Okay. Don't say I didn't show you how the way to do it. One thing about being grown, I can have Bro, I'm lactose intolerant. And just from looking at that video, my stomach's starting to bubble. The weirdest thing I think I've done is rice and mayonnaise. Like, I'm guilty of eating rice and mayonnaise by itself. My friends just used to say, oh, that's your white side coming out. That's your 1.5% white. That right there, cheese and milk with cereal, that's disgusting. There's no excuse for that. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Damn, I love New York City. See, like this. God damn. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. You married? Huh? For how long? Huh? <laughs> if you ask the young lady if she's married and she say yes, keep it moving. Keep it moving, dog. I've been on the phone with my wife and I heard some of the things people say to her. It's a lot of cornball activities, man. There's one time she at the park and we on the phone together. Old head come up to her. Hey, beautiful. She being nice. She like. Hi. And then he was like, are you married? Because he, he finally seen the ring. Now, mind you, she the way she explained it, she said she had the phone this way so he can clearly see the ring. Man see the ring. He said, are you married? She said, yes. His next response is, how long have you had that problem? Problem? Did you just call me a problem? Ever. God. Damn.
I don't even think this video is really about the dude trying to talk to her. I think this this is her account. So this video is really about her showing them cheeks off. If you go for the guy that treats you like trash because he's exciting, just remember that that man is not afraid to lose you. Facts. And that's because he doesn't really care for you that much. Facts. And you're never going to change that. So once you date a few of these guys, one after another, that's when you're going to look around and say, where are all the good guys? And I'm going to tell you, that good guy left your friend zone years ago to find his queen. I don't know about you. Do what you want. But I'd rather be the queen. As somebody who used to be the exciting guy, y'all friend zone the wrong people. When I used to date, you know, one thing about me, and I feel as though most people should do this. When you date, really listen to what people are saying. You know, really have conversations with them. Really talk to them. I used to talk to the girls that I was dating. I really wanted to know who you are. You know, I, I think too, I'm a little nosy. So, you know, I like hearing stories. And these women used to tell me stories about guys who liked them and the reason why they would never give them a chance. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, he sounds like husband material. I'm going to tell you. Mm, mm. I don't know if I should tell this story. Now that I think about it, that joint is crazy. But a young lady come to my house. We, we chilling, you know. If you remember me from back in the day, you know, I didn't have nothing in my apartment, dog. I ain't had no couch. Well, actually, I think I had a couch at this time. So I had I had a couch. I had no TV. I had an air mattress. All right, anyway, so she comes. She hanging out with me, you know. We chilling. We get hungry. Oh, I didn't have a car also. I'm telling you, I was... <laughs> I didn't have a car also. All I had going for me was they thought I was handsome and I was funny. You know, I'm, I was a good conversationalist. So anyway, she at the crib, we chilling. She was like, yo, you want something to eat? I'm like, yeah. Of course, I ain't had no car, so we wasn't finna go and get nothing to eat. Then I ain't had no money neither. You feel me? I worked at the cookie place making seven twenty five an hour. This, this was in 2010, 2011. Don't do me. Anyway, she calls her homeboy who works at some restaurant. And the way she's talking to this man, you can tell that this man is in love with her. He's in love with her. You could you can just tell, right? And they on the phone and she's ha ha and you know she gassing him up and doing all that. And then she's like, Oh yeah, I'm at my homegirl house and we don't got no food. You think you could bring some food for us when you get off? This man probably gets off around 12 o'clock, drives to my place. She goes outside and picks the food up. Man's bought two plastic bags full of to-go boxes with food in it. At the time, I ain't feel bad. Because, you know, it didn't really click to me what was going on. I was young, you know. So, to me, that was a boost in my ego. That was a boost of ego. Damn, she got a nigga bringing food for us? That's crazy. So, I ate, clapped some cheeks, ate again. And, bro, y'all be putting the wrong people in the friend zone. Dudes that really care about y'all, y'all put them in the friend zone. And then, niggas like me, at the time, at the time, who had nothing really going for themselves, y'all was coming over there and giving me the cheeks and trying to shit on the dudes that really like you to me. But honestly, he dodged a bullet. You didn't deserve him anyway.